Welcome back guys to part 30 of Double Homework, episode 5. I'm Miss Kitty JK, let's go! That worked out surprisingly well. So, where are we going? Home, apparently. Phew, you're back early? I am. Thought I'd keep it easy. Easy? You look like you walked through a rainstorm. You're so sweaty. I don't need you undermining me in the morning. Morning. It's 11 a.m. I told her sternly. Morning. What are you doing here, anyway? Don't you have a corner to brood in? Yeah, it's the kitchen. You have your room. I have the kitchen. With you on my back all the time, I thought you'd be up to something productive. I'm not on your back all the time. Yes, you are. No, I'm making fun of you. That's different from being on your back. I know I'm a hypocrite. I just don't care. Besides, I get all the drama I need in here. I barely need it to television on anymore. I'm glad you find us so entertaining. At least you do something around here. Being a walking, talking, tragic comedy is something. God, you're a boomer to be around. Even Rachel makes better company than you do. Oh, did you do to get together again? I ran into her while jogging. Believe it or not, we talked. It was nice. Sounds boring. It was boring. Which was great. I need more boring in my life. Trust me, you don't. At least Johanna is acting like a human being and not a walking, talking marshmallow. What do you mean? Oh. Ah, shit. Who is that? It's Lauren. I'll have to take this. I bet she wants another tabloid article written about her. You're so cynical. I'm going to my room to take this call. Mm -mm -mm. Lauren? Hey, sorry. I prefer to call people rather than text. Is this a bad time? No, not at all. I'm just in my room. In your room? During day like this? Why? What's happening today? It's just a super nice day. I'm almost ready to drive down to the beach. Wondering if you'd like to come along. Mmm, that sounds fun. Fuck, even if I wanted to, I can't. I have to see Dennis today. I'd much rather go to the beach. Oh, um, I can't, actually. I have an errand. There is a pause on the other hand. Like, Lauren has to process it. M maybe tomorrow, then? We won't have time for the beach, but maybe to the park? Her initial stutter says something. Is she nervous? Maybe she thinks I'm avoiding her? Do I really want to date her? I can't keep putting this off, but Lauren is my best chance to get some real nookie. Maybe I should he see her, but then she'll definitely think that we're dating. Oh my god, such always difficult, difficult choices. I just created a data named see Lauren or not, and now I'll try to do something like, um, I don't know. I'll be busy tomorrow. Oh, can, can I ask you what you're doing? Laundry. Washing machine broke down last week, so we've had to go to a laundromat. It's kind of an all-day thing. That's bad luck. Sorry to cut a conversation short. I need to be somewhere. Okay, well, have fun. Thanks, you too. Fun. Did she promise you a blowjob? Why is your mind always in the gutter? Anyway, I told her I didn't want to meet her this weekend. You sure? This might be your last chance to get some nookie this summer. Funny you should say that. Those were my thoughts, except without the summer part. Who's going to suck you off if it isn't Lauren? I could probably convince Rachel to do it anyway. So, I've got plenty of summer left. So, what was that thing you were saying about Johanna? Yeah. Something about Johanna acting like a human being? Oh, yeah. Uh, she raised her hands for like an hour this morning. What? Like an OCD person? Just scrubbing and scrubbing? No, at least I don't think so. It was more like... She was thinking about something so intensely she forgot what she was doing. And that wasn't the end of it. She was absent-minded as fuck. Nearly poured her cereal into her cup. That sounds funny. Yeah, I wish she hadn't realized what she was doing. But the thing is, 
She seemed really good this morning. Well, she knows how to put on a smile, right? She does. It probably means you're the source of her frustration. It doesn't. You know her as well as I do. If she's worried or annoyed at someone, the last person she tells in the person she's worried about. If she tells anyone at all, that is true of Johanna. That girl is going to spoil her kids rotten, I swear. Anyone can walk right over her. Anyway, gotta leave. Where are you going? I'm volunteering at the soup kitchen. Pfft, yeah, right. Don't believe me? You're probably blowing your paycheck on some awful clothes. Don't you have enough leather and studs in your closet? You look like a magazine cut out of a rebellious teenager. Yeah, well, clothes wear out, you know. Just wear a t-shirt and shorts like everyone else. Fuck you and goodbye. Johanna, acting moody. According to Tamar, at least. So the kiss really did happen, and it's bothering her. To be fair, it's bothering me too. So let's see what's going to happen right next. I'm very curious. Can't believe I'm going to spend a perfectly good afternoon with Dennis, of all motherfuckers. If we get that, what we need done quick, it shouldn't be so bad. I think this is the place. Let's call Dennis. YOLO! Uh... YOLO? Come on, I'm not that out of it. I know how to be cool. You just provided the evidence on the contrary. Anyway, I'm here. Buzz me in. Okay, buzzer's going to go off. Just open the door. Top floor. Top floor? Alright. This whole thing makes me feel weird as fuck. I shouldn't be helping Dennis. I should be... I don't know. What should I be doing with him? Well... Maybe if I finish things up with Dennis, I can get out of here as quick as possible. Top floor, huh? This is a really nice apartment building. Maybe his family really is rich? Anyway, this is the door. Time to see what's really up. Damn. This... This is a high school boy's paradise. Music blasting, huge screens, lines of video game system, multiple desktop computers, AV equipment spilling onto the floor. Foosball, pool, hair okay. This is all the shit I always wanted. Is this really where Dennis' family lives? It even smells nice, like a new car, kinda nice. Artificial but pleasant. I hear someone getting off the sofa. Hey, guy! Fuck. Harry? That's me. Wow, is Dennis going your homework too? Not exactly. What are you doing here? What? You're not here for the same reason I am? I don't know. Dennis invited me up. He was kinda tight-lipped about what I'm supposed to do. Why isn't he here anyway? He's like in the bathroom or something. That's strange. Usually you'd greet someone first and then go to the bathroom. Oh no! Is that a rule I didn't know about? Jeez, I think I've done that a million times. I must have looked like a real idiot. It's not a rule, no. It's just something people do. Fuck. Remember who you're talking to. Just don't worry about it. It doesn't apply to you. Oh, phew. That's a relief. So, um, this is Dennis Dix, huh? Pretty nice. What does he have you do up here? Oh, right. Harry puffs off his chest with pride. Acting. 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 What kind of acting? I don't know, maybe like good acting? He keeps asking me to do it, so it must be good. God damn it, Henry. I wasn't asking about the quality of your acting. What it is about? Uh, animation. Uh, uh animation. What kind of animation? Mmm, maybe good animation. Never mind, Harry. Anyway, you probably shouldn't be doing things for Dennis. He's up to no good. Uh, why are you here then? So guys, I hope you enjoyed and see you in the next video.